fucking hell, it's early. This is a beautiful walk through Stanford, but um, yeah, the Elan is ready to be picked up from In Racing, who have gone over the car, the suspension, done the corner weight. They basically, I'll put some screen grabs up, but they've done it to Tony Thompson's, the Tony Thompson Senior, the original, his recipe for a fast road Elan. And they've driven it and they've said it's absolutely spot on. So hopefully they've cured the strange handling quirks and um, and it'll be good to go on a little road trip next week. But um, I'm not gonna lie, there is a sense of trepidation because it's hard to believe that it could actually be fully done and working. Um, and it was just as easy as setting it up and there were no real gremlins. But, um, but yeah, walking down to the train, I'll be uh, with the car in an hour or two. It's quite a pretty town I live in. Not bad, eh? Just gonna have a really obnoxious and noisy alarm blasting through it later. Keeping some very, very fine company here. Well, she's back. Already making friends with the Rover. And I must say, I don't quite know what in racing have done, but they've charged me two parts of nothing, basically, to totally transform the car. It, they said they've looked at the carbs not done anything runs better handles well um in short i am super 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 impressed so uh yeah big thumbs up to those guys and now i've got to get it ready for i'm going on a bit of a tour in it next week so the usbs aren't working needs seat belts needs an oil change so i'm going to crack on with those today so why is the usb charger not working well, that would be the reason. Uh, I can't remember where the fuck I spliced that into. Could it have been here? Oh, I don't know. My head's been filled with rovers lately, so I'm not really too sure what's going on, but no, no, that's not it. All these fucking colors I've used. Oh, oh I can't remember a damn thing. It's literally been a week since I've had this car and I've forgotten everything about it already. But at least we can fix that, so no problemo. I can't see anywhere it's come from. I genuinely think I just forgot to connect it. <laughs> Idiot. Um, mm, I wanna go upstream of this fuse. 
so I'll probably just be a butcher and put it in there because that's the sort of butcherous person that I am. And dun 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 dun. Hey. And again, I will be entering the 2022 Videographer of the Year Award. So please vote for me. Now, next problem is... Oh, it's fucking working now. Oh, scared the shit out of me. Right, um, horn fixed. Um, we do have a slight problem with the steering wheel. So, um, basically... When I was investigating the horn not working, I was turning the steering shaft with my mole grips on the splines. I think I remember highlighting in a video, you probably shouldn't do that. Well, the problem is I put the steering wheel on and it wouldn't go on all the way. So I thought, I know what a good tactic would be. I'll wind it on with the nut. That's not a good tactic because it stripped the threads. Now, the nut is on there and the steering wheel is just a little bit off to the angle so I can cope with that so what my plan is I'm going to get a new shaft because I'm hoping there's thousands of triumphs out there that would love to donate the shaft their shaft to a better cause um, because if I don't get a new shaft what I've got to do is because this wheel is now I mean I could take that nut off this wheel is not coming off without a puller so I'm um, it's secure which is the main thing but if I take the wheel off what I've got to do is make that shaft just a tiny bit smaller then cut say a 14 mil thread onto it but then I've got to get the wheel back onto a mullered chewed up shaft bit which yeah it's fine to go on and then it would be great but then if I ever want to get it off I'm a bit fucked so rather than do all of that work just to have the wheel literally a couple of degrees which if i really want i can fiddle with the uj but that means radiator shenanigans and no one ain't got time for that um i'm gonna get a the biggest chisel i've got and stake it and i don't care what anyone says that's what i'm doing um so i've got to put that panel back on i'm gonna stake this um, what else, what else, what else? I've got to fit my harnesses. I, was, I just completely didn't think I'd need harnesses to go on track, but obviously I will do. And I'm wondering if that crack will stop me going on track. Because if it will, I'm going to buy a sunstrip and cover it up. Because that seems like the obvious option. I might even get a drill bit, actually, and just drill the end of that crack. See if I can stop it going any further. I mean, the screen's fucked anyway, so who cares um and this is this is my land and it's everything's done on it to a reasonably low standard apart from what in racing have done i don't know what they've done they haven't charged me for anything on those carbs they just said they had a look at them and it feels wonderful um the suspension they went yeah we just kind of set it up but we did just did it like like it took 20 minutes and it's fucking brilliant I'll put the sheets up of what they did so that they have done something, but they literally charged me, what did they charged me? 248, was it? For full suspension setup, test drives, because I was really pernickety. I said I want them to drive it, and they, they've charged me nothing. So they've done some great work. You know, Regency, do what fucking in racing do, because honestly, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to slag a company off. Um, that's the multimeter. Right, I'm going to get that back on and then b -b 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 hit this with something really heavy and hard and then harnesses. And then I'm taking it to the farm to change oil. Um, yeah, this isn't a staking tool, but it is made by... Is this my Starrett one? I don't know, but it is for hitting things. So I've hit it a few times. I used a fine precision tool to do so, but I'm going to call that job done. So now the job I'm putting off is putting this panel back on. So let's get that done. It's been a while, but we're back at the farm. 
My little garage is slowly degenerating back into shit. It's been taken over by spiders. But the next project, which is soon to be announced, will be coming in here soon. Um, I need to yeah, do that. But yeah, let's get some uh, oil out of it then. Draining out nicely and I've managed to obviously spill loads and yes, I was underneath that prattling around but um, it would have taken me, you know, good 90 seconds to go and get an actual stand under it so I just didn't have the time. Um, yeah, that's draining away. One thing I've noticed is what is this yeah, oil filter? I didn't see if I went for the Bosch one, you know. better at filtering or is it cost saving? I don't know. I suppose it doesn't really matter as long as you change it regularly. So yeah I've just got some 2050 uh, decent quality oil but nothing special. I'm not really a big believer in fancy wank oils unless it's in something that is really high performance. So I used to put good stuff but even then not the recommended stuff in my M5 because that was a you know, 100 horsepower per litre car. This isn't, it's, you know, fucking built in the 60s. It probably needs old shit like that. So I'll just keep changing it every two or three K and we'll be fine. But um, yeah, I want to go and get a bike to eat and then uh, fit the harnesses. Yeah. It's not quite a Lotus, but uh, let's have a little play on this bad boy. Progress is um, what you'd call slow. Last time I took one of these out, I dug a hole and I couldn't fit it in, so I'm not going to touch the, the army bit. I might get it round the other side of the farm this time next week. Okay. I'm going to drill the windscreen. I don't know if you can do this. I haven't Googled it. I'm just going to put a little. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see where the crack is there. Just put a little nick there. See if I can stop it spreading and cover it up. Perfect bodge. Okay, so it turns out glass is quite hard. Um, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to leave it be. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, I've got the harnesses in. I've changed the oil. So, they're all in. Uh, just got to tidy it up a little bit, get all the tools out, and then it's, um, yeah, just a bit more shaking down, ready for ready for Wales, really. Yeah, boy. I have Southern Strip. Get all of the um, admiring glances at the cruise. Um, so, we just had a problem. The bonnet flipped up. So I need to work on the catches and 
and the engine was smoking out of the bonnet because some divot hadn't done the oil capper properly. Whoops. Um, so, we've got to fit this. We've got to fix the bonnet. There's a headlight bulb out and we've got to check the gearbox oil. Then all I really need to do is pack an emergency toolkit and spares and it's ready to go. It's quite a machine actually. It potters around but then when you really get up it, mm, it goes. We're going to be best of friends. Well, another job. I've bought five of these so I'm going to have two in, two in here, one in the Rover and then uh, two of spare so I'm going to mount this one down here somewhere forgive the mess I will clean it honest and the other one in the boot um 45 quid for five I thought it, you know it's, it'd be ridiculous not to have one I did consider the fire sticks but I was put off by the price because they were 120 for two and also they were one use only which meant if I got a re-ignition I was fucked so gone with these Hopefully I never get to use it. Uh, apologies for any wind noise, but I've just put the bonnet down and I, mean, I can't get it. I can't get it to come back up. Um, obviously I can if I pull the lever, but I can't make it you know, come up by accident. So I've got to assume it's working fucking things. I will end up just sticking pins through the bastard because it's been nothing. Actually I wouldn't. I'll just have a little strap. A little leather strap riveted on. Hmm. Shall I order some? Hmm. Maybe. But look, if I put it down that side first. I think I'm going to have to take it out for a test. Put it down that side first and see how it goes. So... Race tape's holding up beautifully. Lovely application of race tape. Um, clean this and we'll put this on. And then I'm going to headlights. I don't know how to get the headlight bolt off. Ugh, that's going to be a minging, a minger of a job. And the gearbox oil might just get ignored. I can't ignore it now, I've said it because it will blow up, but I haven't checked it. It hasn't been checked in 21 years, as far as I'm aware, so... And everything leaks on this car, so it might have run out. Oh my good God, I've made a right pig zero of this. <laughs> a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Got a massive crease down there, but it's actually doing the job I wanted it to do. And even though it's accidentally thinner on this side, that's good, because it means I get to see more out of the screen. So, um, yeah, that'll do until I get get the screen replaced anyway so uh, yeah mm. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it doesn't even go to the edge <laughs> oh fuck oh jesus christ anyway that'll do that'll do the important bits work really well like the engine and the suspension the electrics touch wood Bits like that I don't give a fuck about. Cosmetics, I can go kiss my ass. Um buh, 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 buh. Done that. Fire extinguisher. Now, I can't remember if I filmed this earlier. Thinking of putting it there. So it's not really used for anything that space. That space down there could get feet kicking it. And here it's reachable by both people. So I'm just thinking two self tappers. Can't go wrong, can you? Extinguisher mounted. Now onto the headlights. Okay, so this span round, and then I got bored and priced it off with a screwdriver. Um, there are some locating lugs. But the problem is, is that bad boy under there, and I, I had to get a screwdriver in to force it out. So I think you probably meant to clip it in and then push it on and then pull it off and then under and out how are you going to do that on a mint car with nice paint i don't know and then what i presume is you've got one two 
three, and where's number four? Number four in there. But I'll undo those. They look like they've been at the bottom of the sea, but they've all come undone. And then I presume the light pops out and I can get to the bulb behind it. I don't know if this has one or two bulbs, I have no idea, but I'll show you what I get. Well, they all ended really nicely. I'll see if I've got some replacements in stock. Um, it could do with a new gasket, but it isn't getting one. Um, it's come out, I'm still no closer to finding the bulb, but I guess more deconstruction needed. Okay, so on the secondary trim, there are three little screws. I took them out because they looked like they would fuck the leash shit up if I got the wrong ones, but they were correct. And we have the thing out, the headlight. This rubber guard is seriously, you know, it's happy to stay where it is. And this is, I believe, the dipped bulb because that one looks like main beam. The dipped one's kind of just chilling out at the back. So I'm gonna whip this out. Um, if I film this, I'll remember where these go. So if you're looking at the left sticker, on the right is the clear, and the one with the plastic guard goes in the middle. Right, let's see what size is this and get a new one. Yeah, that looks mega fucked. I've got a bit of glass, 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 glass in my hand. So, um, yeah, fuck knows what that is. I can't even see. It's a Norma 12 volt. Oh God, I need my glasses on. Anyway, I'll go and get one of those. I'll go and get one now so the headlights go back together tonight. And um, we'll get this buttoned up. Right, Halfords was shut, so I'm gonna call it quits there. I'm gonna slot it back in the garage, do the bolts tomorrow, check the oil, and then I've got some work to do on the on the bad boy rover. So um, yeah, tune in if you're really sad like me. Sayonara, motherfuckers. Hello. All right, governor. <laughs> ah, you doing, boy? Come on, should we walk back? Walking back. What are they doing, eh, Charles? Yeah, too much like hard work, that.